Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this historically accurate cardboard battle axe. Enjoy. So I'm using a hockey stick as the shaft for the axe. So then I drew out what I want the axe to look like. It will have a war hammer on this end. Then get a long piece of metal and then bend it in the shape of an axe. Just like so. And then when I did that, I drilled two holes in the hockey stick here and I just stuck the steel rod right through. And then this is our skeleton basically. And for the hammer end, I just gorilla glued this piece of wood here and then bent the remaining pieces of metal around and I'm going to tape them down together. And then glue a piece of cardboard onto the metal rim and the hockey stick and then cut out the remaining sides you don't need. And then I filled it to the brim with hot glue and I'm going to cover it up. And then I made sure to seal all the open gaps with hot glue. So then I have these brackets here. This one I put a bunch of dents in to make it look like rivets using a screwdriver. I'm going to glue it right there and do it to both sides, just like so. And then I cut this octagon with a hockey stick shaped hole in the middle and then I cut it in half so then I can re-glue it on the hockey stick. Just like so. And then using one of the scrap pieces of wood, I screwed it in place on the back of the warhammer. And also I filled in all the rivets with dots of hot glue just to make them look even more realistic. And then I painted the ax head with a white and then silver. And then I painted the entire stick white as well and then covered it with a brown paint. And that is how you build a historically accurate cardboard battle axe. I love how the metallic spray paint turned out in the rest of the stick. And also, I think I'm going to keep it silver because it looks brand new. And also, those brackets really kind of look like steel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.